Hey, happy weekend. I'm here at home hanging out with my big periodic table, trying to get some help so that you feel a little bit more confident and know what to do on the molarity practice learning activity. So you're going to see a variety of questions, but they're going to have the same format as what we see right here. It's going to ask about molarity, moles, and liters. So remember, molarity, if we wanted a visual of that, that's how dark the color of our liquid was or how strong that is. So if it's higher, does that mean that we have more or less of the stuff in it? We made that greenish blue solution of copper chloride. How dark blue and green our version was, was the molarity. And the moles is how much solid did we mix in there? That's the solute. We also think about the volume. Well, how much total water or how much total liquid did we have? So we're going to see a relationship there. More liquid would make it lighter in color. Less liquid would be more dark and intense. And we can think that same idea um, in terms of the amount of stuff. Here, we've got some questions about solvent. The solvent is the amount of water. So if I'm changing the water, what does that do to the moles? What does that do to the molarity? Dilutions are when we took that stuff from the bottle and watered it down. Did we change the amount of solid in it or did we change the molarity? That's what we're thinking about. Right here for our most to least concentrated, we've done lots of ranking this um, trimester already. Molarity is another word for concentration and molarity is moles per liter. So each of these, maybe we put it in our calculator or just do it in our head. How many moles per liter? We want the highest number at the top that's most concentrated with the lowest at the bottom. For the math, it is two equations. M equals, and I'm going to write these even here, M equals N over V. That's what you would use on number, it looks like six and seven for the examples that I have. What is the molarity? Find the molarity. We're solving for M. We need moles on top, but we need to change our volume to liters. We need to change our volume to liters for sure. That N is our moles. So on number six, what it gave me, I'm good to go. But here on number seven, sometimes if it gives you grams, we're going to choo-choo our way grams to moles. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you try one of these and get stuck, we just got to do our best and then ask those questions. But write down your work and you can get some help on those. If we come down a little bit here, this one is, it's got an M here. Oops. Yep. I'm going to go back to my pen. It's got two M's. It's got an M and an M. That's our clue. Also the word dilution M1V1 equals M2V2. We just match up. This is the volume for this molarity. What is the volume for that molarity? And pay attention to our units there. So when you have two M's or when you have two V's, because everyone's going to look a little bit different, that's our clue to use that equation. The bottom ones on this are going back to our choo-choo track practice. How many moles are there? So we do whatever we need to to change this unit, moles, liters, grams, atoms, to what it asks for. So here I would change them all to moles, and then I would rank them. Practice your choo-choos. Practice labeling your work. Write it down. Here, mass, I need to end them all in grams. So I change them all to that same thing. So there's a little bit of shifting back and forth, but the first few we're thinking about moles as how much stuff, volume as how full it is, and molarity as kind of that how dark or um, a ratio of moles to liters. Paying attention to units is super, super important and necessary and write out your work. That's how we can help you when you're back on uh, Monday to get these ideas to click in.